Um, so yeah, my name is uh, Steve Johnson, workforce development specialist for uh, Manchester North uh, IST, Absolute Block uh, Signal Centre. Um, basically here is where we teach people to uh, be signalers. So I'm in the Absolute Block. And speaking of Absolute Block, that's what we're here to see today, this training unit. This is all that was at Manchester, yeah, sorry, in Stockport. Yes, I think it got transferred yeah, here. Transferred here. So last time I saw this, this was in bits and pieces in the operations room at Stockport. And just to give you a, a bit of a brief uh, history of this, this is a training simulator for absolute block. As you can see, there's a lever frame down here, all totally modular, um, built by a company, same as all the block instruments and all the indicators. The levers have no connection to the outside real world. What they have is some resistance springs and plates in the back so that they actually simulate, in the case of points, they simulate the points being hard to pull. Yes, so so the points will, so seven, uh, seven and eight, uh, seven points, eight points and one zero points will be, will pull like mechanical points, even though technically, you know, the, the power operated points. Yeah. Uh, the levers, even though they are semaphore signals, uh, the levers will pull like the colour light signals. There's no resistance, obviously, because there's no wire, there's no wire to pull, it's all electric. So uh, yeah, so like I say, the, the, the they pull like a call light signal, but we treat them as, as you can see on the board, as a semaphore signal. Right. Except for Hotel Juliet 5, which is the, uh, the IB home signal. And I'm going to find that that way. Light, yeah. So we look on the board there at the top. So you see where that's circular? Yeah. So on the 5 repeats it's a circular. So basically, that will be a call light, that's a call light signal. Right. But the rest of them, obviously, we see the boards here. Yeah. They obviously they we class them as their semaphore signals. Gotcha. So obviously, with the cleaner points and all that, it's it, it's different. So obviously, we have our block instruments. So as we remember, the white is the opposite signal box sending their indication to us. The black sections are what we control. So our pegger, our pegger indication, and our bells to the next adjacent signal box. And obviously, as you can see. Hornby Junction, and this is repeated at all the simulators. They're all Hornby Junction, aren't they? They're all, yeah, they're all Hornby <laughs> Junction, yeah. You think they'd have been different, but yes, there's our signal box with our lever frame and our little dot, which is our man here, which is ourselves. You can see our track layout on the diagram there. And again, for those that don't know, uh, it's traditionally yellow and blue on the up lines, sky colours, green and brown on the down lines, ground colours, and obviously where you have some uh, conflicting track circuits or strike ins, we have um, them as red track circuits. We can see our dual red indications there. So we have our two red uh, LEDs to present our trains there. Two, because if one fails, you've still got a backup. Um, there's our two block instruments going off to the next two boxes down there, Gatestown and Stopham. And we have some other signaling controls there. We have our Welling winders, which we'll get into that in a bit. Our signals, red for control signals. Um, IBs, red and yellow, and obviously electrical release, block released. Uh, we have a release on this one, number 11 which is, I can find it up there, there it is, it's a starter going towards Gatestown, I can just see there. We have our points, as mentioned, black and FPL to lock those points, which is blue. Uh, and our distance signal is yellow. So, I'm going to make a couple of mistakes on this, I guarantee. Yeah. But what we're going to try and do is we're going to set this up and have a little run through and take you through it. Right, so that's recording. Want it a bit more of an angle, maybe join it over here. No, nah, that should actually get it quite happily there. Yeah, okay, get it there, yeah. right. So, that's on. So, how would you want me to listen, talk you through what I'm doing, mate, or would you like to just have a go in and see how you get on? I have not. Can I explain it to you with, like, a delegate if you want? Yeah, I have a very little knowledge okay. of signalling okay. and operation, so we'll go through it properly. Yeah, okay, right. So, okay, so what we're going to do now, from it, we're going to have a train that's going to be coming from. Weatherall and it's going to be going to Gatestown. To Gatestown on the bottom line. Yes. So the head of this train will be. Let me get it all. One whiskey one zero. And that's an express, class one? Yes, that's a class one, mate, yeah. Okay, so now what I'm doing, mate, I'm just going to be putting it into the simulator. Okay. Um, so it will be basically sat now um, at Weatherall waiting for Weatherall to actually deliver it onto us. Okay, so how much are you understanding about 3.4 point objects? <laughs> now then, okay. if you said call attention to me, I'll understand all yes. that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send you call attention. So basically, call attention is what the, what the best box 
says to you, I need to tell you something. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. So, where the Lord's now needs to tell us something. So I'll respond. So you respond. Or bell. If you want. Because the bell code's never understood until it's acknowledged. Correct. Okay, so now. That's so four bells for an express. Four bells for the class one train. So basically what Weather Hall is doing now, before we do that, yeah. before we accept it now, we have to do our 3.4.1 checks. So our 3.4.1 checks is we have points within the clearing points. Yes. So we need to lock them points. Because they're facing points, we're going to need to lock eight right. points. So, so points is a facing point there. So the points are facing points. So if we lock down now, so if we lock, we've got little cheat sheets on these uh, reading plates now. So in order for us to clear Hotel Juliet 1, 2, yes. 9 and FPL need to be okay. engaged. So I'm going to lock the FPL. points. So I'm locking the facing points yeah. now. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a filter. It's got, yeah, so the, even, though the, even though the letter, we still, we still like to give that a little bit of resistance, just so it's like we don't want to fight when we get to the box. So I've locked the facing points, and I can see that eight points is showing in normal. Yes. Ten points is showing in normal as well. Yeah, so one zero, so we've got our ten points, it's one zero. Okay. Okay, so one zero points are showing that we've got normal detection, mm -hmm. and we've got normal detection in eight points. So okay. that, now that route is set to go to Webinar. Go to correction to go to gate sound on the XL. So now I can respond back with the four beats. So now we've done our 3.4.1 checks, mate. We can respond now with the four beats. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is so whether or we see that we're scaffold one six on the board. We're scaffold one six, that is the section signal. Okay. So whether or now we need to give whether or permission in order to clear the yeah. section signal. So basically what we're saying when we respond to the four, we're saying that the line is clear up to and including our clearing point. Okay. So I am now going to give you permission to clear your section signal and let a train enter the absolute block section. That's a big line so we take the line clear, mate, yeah. So now what that does is that will let Brendan all clear with scalp for one six. Okay, and it's gone to line clear. And it's gone to line clear, yeah. So now, Weather all is now going to clear their signals. We're going to um, let the train enter yeah. the actual box section. So once once that train now passes their box, complete the tail on, and to enter the actual block section, weather all is now going to. They're going to give us two beats. So there's no call attention with two beats. Yes. We don't have what we've done is now we've maintained our clean points. Yeah. So if we couldn't have our clean point, we would then speak to weather all. Yeah. Okay, but now. We've, we've got our clearing points, okay? We've kept it, we've kept the 9 FPL as a still lock at 8 points, so the route is still set. So now what we will do is we will acknowledge the two. Two bits. And then now we will peg the train online. So basically what that does now is tell us, okay, that there is a train in yeah. the actual box section. So we've got one there now, we know it's coming, it's on its way. So now we've been, we've been asked something now, we need to, we've been told someone something, we need to ask someone something now. So now we need to offer it on to Gatestown. That's Gatestown signal box. So that's Gatestown. That's Gatestown there, yeah. So one beat call attention. So one beat call attention, there, yeah. So Gatestown is going to respond. Respond back. That's four bells. Four for the bells. Yeah. So this may take because what Gatestown is going to do now, they may have to engage their FBLs. Yes. They may they may not be able to accept it. They may be fouling their clearing point, yeah. they may be have something going on. They, I mean, usually we wouldn't know if they're fouling clearing point, they would, they would tell yeah. us, we may have to block back inside the home signal outside. But now they, they can accept it, okay? They can stop straight up and down the line, very easy, so they will, they will acknowledge the four, four beats, okay? And then, so basically what that's, that's done now is that allows us to clear Hotel Juliet 1 1, which is yeah. our section signal, which is the entrance signal. To the actual block section between the us and gate sign. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now then we can clear our signals. And there's an order to this. There's an order to this, mate, yeah. So the best way to do it is high school disco. We call this we that's how we say to the delegates. Distance the start. High, home section distance, high school disco. Yes. Okay, so if we look on the lever plates now, yeah. Okay, so we have to clear them in order. Okay? So when we say in order. The distance signal is clear last. last. So, so before we can clear the distance signal, it says we've got one one and one, one two. two. It has to be cleared. Oh, so we'll clear one two, we'll clear one one. Okay, so one two, I can see on the diagram here, is our uh, splitting signal there for junction. So it's so one, that's two our signal, yeah. So I clear that first. 
see that one one then it comes to pull play and it has an electrical release on it. Yeah, so a, a little bit of right band on it means that it's a lock band, but it means that we cannot play that signal unless we've got the line it. And that's our starting signal going to gate stand. Yes. We'll play that next. And I can see that it's <coughs> off with a green location, as is one two. Yes. And finally, now our distant one four, which is just here. So see how easy they pull? Yes. Because they, I, I think they pull like a, a call light signal. Yes. So, See, that's cleared as well. Yeah. So now, mate, we don't do that. You know, we, we literally now, we just wait. We, we just wait until the train arrives. Okay. okay. Obviously, in here, I mean, you could have sections 20, 30 minutes long. Yeah. Here, the section's quite short because obviously we're training. We don't want to be doing the way you are. Everything's <laughs> fed up by times 10 here yes. because obviously any bag or anything. We, we can't wait for usually what, how long it would take, otherwise, we get one or two legs done a day. Yes. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Speed it up to the, to the absolute block section, okay? So I can see our train is now struck in on track four okay. zero. So now, so now it's coming in, it's going through Belson, uh, Belson Tunnel. Okay, and it's now passed. Now because, if that was a call light signal, it's that would automatically revert back to danger, but yes. obviously the act, even though we wouldn't have indications like this for the semaphore yes. in the box, it would be dials, it would be, yeah. you know, but now we know that it's past Hotel Juliet 1-4, okay. so we can put Hotel Juliet 4 back to, 1 back to danger. Remember, Hotel Juliet 1-4 is a distant signal and will never show that it's shown red. It yes. only shows the yellow or the green. Yes, okay. so I'm checking now, I'm on 1-4. Checking from past one four in the distance back to danger. Okay. And it has come back to a caution indication yes. because it's distant. So now we're just going to chug along. You may as well may stop at the uh, Elston uh, station. Okay, so now with our home signal, we, we've we got face and points. Yes. So we need to protect them face and points. So basically, what we want to do, we will not replace our home signal. Usually, we would replace the signal for danger yes. once the train has gone past. Once it's complete, past the signal. However, we've got facing points within the Queen Point now, so basically, we don't want to replace a home signal because then we could potentially be able to move yes. eight points or nine points. So we will leave the home signal out until it's past this. So we've got here now. This but all that, is, that is our clearing point. Yes. That is our clearing point, okay, for Hotel Juliet 1 2. And yes, indeed, we call that the overlap. The overlap. Oh, Phantom overlap with a bit of fears in the jungle. Yeah. So in, the, in TCB on colour light signal, yes. we have overlaps. That's right. It's on, on the AD signal, the 7 4 signals, we have the, the, the uh, clearing point. The clearing point. point, yeah. But again, because it's protecting the facing points, we do not replace back to danger yeah. until it's, past, it's gone past the points. I'll just keep seeing now. Okay, so we sped up a little bit now. Okay, there you go. So, so now it's completely past points. We can now replace Hotel Juliet 1 2. So, that's Hotel Juliet 1 2. Yeah, and that's our home signal. And that has gone back to a danger indication. Yeah. So now, so it doesn't, when we give train at the section or train out a section, it doesn't really matter when we give train at the section. Yeah. The most important thing now is an absolute block signal is that we've seen the tail on. We yes. can confirm that the actual block section is clear. Yeah. Because say that train's divided or whatever, we may not know that. That train may be plugged along, that could be, that could be a massive uh, entity, it could be a fast train. train. Yes. So basically, it's important now as an absolute box signal, eh? we look for the tail up, we, we actually look for it. In TCB signal, it's not really that, because you can read really the most miles away, from yes. 40, 50 miles away yes. from the thing. But now, so you see that little light there at the top? That indication there, yeah. So that's the indication, obviously we can't look out the window here, so we need to sort of wait for the delegates to yes. see that it has got the tail on. So it's got the tail on, okay, we pull hotel to it once you back to danger. Yeah, so now, what we can do with weather all, we can say to them, you know what, that train you just sent me, it's now out of the actual block section, it's past my clearing point, completely the tail on. I can now give you train out of section because I can then off accept another yes. train if you need to send it. So, we do you know how we do that? We'll call attention first. Go ahead and call attention, mate. Yeah. Make sure he's there. So, we'll call attention. One bell. Yeah, so they're there, so they're acknowledging. 
and a 2-1. It is 2-1, mate, yeah. And I just responded to that and then I dropped my knee. Yeah, so now basically what you've told them is the last thing you said, the one was from 0 has passed my box, complete my tail on, okay, and I am now in, in all there to accept another train from you, you said me. So now what we need to do is, because it's past us now, complete the tail on, as we see there, we need to tell, we need to tell Gates Town that it's on its way. Yeah. So Gates Town, well now, we need to then send two bells, two Gates bells, bells yeah. without calling attention. Without calling attention, yeah, good. So now we're going to go, because then we've got the indication now that there's another train, there is a train in the actual box section between us and Gates Town. Okay. Okay, so once that's now gone past, Hotel Juliet 41. Speed that up a little bit. Okay, so now that train has passed, it completely passed Hotel Juliet 1. We can now replace Hotel Juliet 1 back to danger. Checking that's Hotel Juliet 1 and I'm putting that back to danger now. And then we can tie the frame up so we can then put 9 FPL back on the frame because the next train yeah. coming could be for going on to the right side. And 9 is back in the frame. Yeah. And to then short section, so you know what you're going to So now, Gates Town are going to tell us. So I'll respond with one bell. Yeah. Out of section, that's so all I'll respond that. And then they drop their email back to normal to say the actual block section is now clear. If you want, you can then send me another trade. Yeah. Okay. I suppose it then, we'll do a little bit of camera. Of course we have our all important lever collar reminders. There are different types for each section. These are some 3D printed ones. They're incredibly lightweight. And again, they just fit over the lever collar to prevent the signaler from actually pulling the lever as required. And for those of us who remember working in at least to the 1980s, we remember these in the boxes on the West Coast mainline. This is quite heavier. And so again, it's 3D printed, plot to electric traction. Again, just the same, fits over the lever collar. Thank you from pulling the catch handle.